Hey guys, we are actually in Cache, Turkey right now but I am finally getting around to editing this huge vlog. This vlog is a little bit different than my normal ones because when we got to Couture, we only expected to stay a week, but that quickly changed and we ended up staying over five weeks there. This is a longer video, but this is one of my favorite videos I have ever created, so I hope that you enjoy it. And also, I just wanted to say that there will be a second video just for the cats of Couture. There are way too many cats, way too many cute clips for me to include them all in this video. Of course, there will be some clips of the cats in this video, probably more <laughs> than there needs to be, but uh, the majority of the cat clips will be in their own separate video. From the moment that we got to Couture, Clark and I both joked that we should look into extending and little did we know that we would do that four times. Watching this back is so weird because at the time I had no clue how much a random place I found on YouTube for the cats would steal my heart. We are in Montenegro, specifically Couture, and it is amazing. There are so many cats here. It is insanely beautiful and our apartment is amazing. We have a very nice balcony. Like, I just cannot believe this place. It is insane. Today, we are just going to be exploring around the old town. We need to go to the grocery store and like all the normal like things you have to do when you first arrive to a place. So that's kind of our day. During the first week, we explored the old town walls, which just so happened to be one of our favorite places to go and enjoy the views. We experienced the cat square for the very first time. Holy crap! Okay, there's a cat up on the fountain. There's three cats on that lady and one cat that couldn't fit. There's like a million cats around and then there's just a dog who thinks it's a cat. Just spot the difference. So we have three, and then this one is inside of my jacket. It's hard to see, you can't really see it in there. He's sleeping, or she, whatever they are. But they're so cute, and they're all so soft. Clark has three on him. Good morning, we're in the same spot that we were in yesterday because we wanted to see the cats again today. Yesterday was absolutely amazing. Um, today, we plan on hiking up to the fort and I hope it's not obvious, my friends, they all caught it saying I end up falling for you. I'm doing my best to hide these feelings, confessing is... We are now walking up to the fort. The last thing that I want to do. I know I can't be crushing on a girl who can't be here for long, so I told myself I should just stay away. But these lyrics keep coming out, I don't think I can stop it now, I wonder they'll get to you one day but i'll sing these words i'll never say cause that's the only way for me to say those words just wait and see they'll come for sure to shine to look you in your eyes i swear And every time you sing a song The people crowd a little closer to you I wish we were closer To be closer We'll never be close But I know I should be moving on Cause you won't be here for very long And there's no way I could ever make you stay But at least I'll write this song for you Cause I don't know what else I can do And I'm hoping that for you it's okay the next day right now we are walking to a cafe because our internet is not working in our apartment also the water wasn't working in our apartment this morning so kind of weird i need to look up the address to the building that i need to go to try to get my vaccination so while clark's at the cafe that's what i'm going to be trying to do and then i got my covid booster well surprisingly i got the third vaccine i can't believe it actually worked out 
Uh, I'm so relieved that now I don't have to freaking worry about it. Which unfortunately kicked my butt for a few days. Hello guys, good morning. Today, I'm not going to film that much. Um, it's now the day after I got my vaccine and I'm not feeling overly great this morning. Really sore, my whole body's really sore. Kind of feel like I got ran over by a truck. We did end up eating at one of our favorite restaurants of the entire trip. This is actually a restaurant that I saw on one of Kara and Nate's vlogs from their couture vlog, and it definitely lived up to the expectations. We did extend our trip for a week, which we celebrated by spending some more time in the cat square. Saying these words I'll never say Cause that's the only way for me to say. So this is my favorite kitty cat. She's very sweet. She crawls up in my lap and she always comes and cuddles with me. And yeah, she's my favorite. We just finished up with cat time. I had quite take a little video of me with my favorite kitty because I just want to remember her. I love her so much. I wish I could take her home. She's like the sweetest little cat, but she's so feisty. She's like a mix of my two cats combined and I love it. But now we are going to go walk on the wall and yeah, just enjoying the city. This is what we're looking at right now. Wow, we have a cat in our lap. Just can't beat it. Say those words, just wait and see. They'll come for sure to shine till look in your eyes. I swear that I'm not lying, cause I knew it's true from the first time. Then we said goodbye to our first Airbnb. Before we left, I left a note with my number on it on our neighbor's door that we had met the previous day. And little did we know that we would be spending the next four weeks hanging out with them pretty much every single day. The next few weeks, I didn't really vlog too much every single day. I just took some highlight clips of kind of what we did. We spent a lot of time with our new friends, Ilya, Nicole, Elena, and Tilo. I'm so in love with time flies Way too fast I've tried to Make it last but you're flying Out in a few more days But you should know that my time Then Clark and I went on a hike with Tilo and Alina. These words I'll never say You're special in a way to me On the hike, we stopped at this old man's house and had some of the best tea ever. Also, the view was incredible. After the tea, we continued on to the ancient city. I can't deny it, but lately I've been tired of hiding oh, you. We then climbed through a window into the fortress. The next day, I made a Mexican-inspired dinner with tacos, pico de gallo, guacamole, and margaritas for everyone. It is now midnight, our friends just left. I publicked a video and now I'm going to get ready for bed because I am very, very tired after all the cooking that I did today. Um, it was amazing, everyone loved the dinner, which is so nice. And yeah, it was a lot of fun, just really nice to have friends and have people over. It just feels so nice to like, have people that you connect with and that you get along with so well uh, that you just randomly met because they were your Airbnb neighbors. It's just really cool. The next few days were very rainy, but we still managed to go over to Tilo and Alina's to have her amazing borscht, which was a delicious beet soup. The weather finally cleared up, so we enjoyed our balcony for a bit, and then we walked around the old town. Don't feel the same, but I need to get myself to say the words I've known that I choose since the day we met. I've been so in love with you. you 
During our first week in Couture, we found a little kitten beside a dumpster and unfortunately it was on a Sunday. So that means that all stores were closed and we weren't able to go get any food for it. We went back a few times over the course of the next few weeks and we were never able to see this kitten again. So we just thought that the kitten was gone. Somehow on another Sunday, a few weeks later, we find the little kitten next to the dumpster. And then the very next day, I went and bought some food for it so that I could go feed it. I just left the store. Now let's go try to find this kitten so that I can give it some food and some fresh water. I am not seeing the kitten, unfortunately. The next morning, we went and had breakfast at Ilya and Nicole's house. Good morning, it's Tuesday. We are headed to Ilya and Nicole's house to go have blinis for breakfast. We're bringing Nutella, bananas, strawberries, and lemon. After breakfast, I decided to see if the little kitten was next to the dumpster again. We found the kitty. This little cat stole my heart and I went and fed him pretty much every single day until we left Couture. I also decided to name him Gremlin. to the places where we used to meet before because lately i've been feeling so good good morning guys it is saturday and it is sadly our last weekend in couture so i thought that i would vlog it and take you guys with me right now we are going to feed my little gremlin kitty he lives underneath the dumpster he's very sweet and i hope that he's at a spot today uh but yeah so we're doing that and then we're going to go to the burger bar with tilo don't see the little gremlin. Then we thought we were leaving Couture, so we did all of our favorite things. We have a break in the rain for the next like six hours, so we are going to climb this trail. We have to walk past the donkey friend to go on the trail. We've got a separate ways and never see you face to face, but in my dreams I'm always running back to you. So tell me why I we are climbing up to the fortress now and I'm not sure what happens if you get caught but if you go up the zigzag and then you go in through the window you get into the fort for free so you save eight euros a person use that at your own risk because do it. I'm not sure what happens if you get caught if you get in trouble if they really do anything but we have done it twice now and both times have been fine and it's amazing. Also, it's a really nice hike and you should stop at the house where the guy has tea because the tea is amazing and he's very sweet. <laughs> okay, okay, come over here. <laughs> oh my goodness, here. Hold on, dude. Boy, when I close my eyes, right there beside me on the beach that night. It was then our last day. We thought we were flying to Istanbul. We had our flights booked and everything, but of course that didn't happen. Good morning. It is our last day in Couture and I figured that I would take you guys along with us, show you everything that we are going to do today. We need to pack. I'm going to go feed Gremlin right now. Gremlin is a little dumpster cat that I have decided to feed. He's so cute. So I'm going to go feed him hopefully. And then we are going to have a dinner tonight and we just kind of need to do a few things today so that we can go to Turkey on Tuesday. Here, here is Gremlin. Very characteristic of him to be on the dumpster. And then we have this black cat up there too that I've fed a few times. Since we thought 
thought it was our last day. We spent a lot of time with the cats. Also, there's this random stray dog and he's so fat. He always eats the cat's leftover food. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Oh. We went and had tea with Ilya and Nicole. We just got back from having tea and coffee with Ilya and Nicole. So now I am studying and then we are going to go have dinner at their place tonight. And then this happened. This night has turned very interesting. So right before we went to dinner at Ilya and Nicole's, we, uh, well, I decided to go ahead and sign up for our Turkey Locator Passenger form. When I went to sign up, it asked for like our flight number. So I went to like my booking reference and when I went to my booking reference, it said that my flight was canceled. So that was great because I didn't receive any email, no communication from Turkish Airlines, like nothing. Just thankfully I had checked the booking information and saw that it was canceled. So then we went to dinner. We decided that we were going to just rebook at a later date because we thought it was maybe something that we had done wrong. So then we go to book it again and it declines all of our cards and all of our parents' cards. So for some reason, we aren't able to book the flight for Istanbul that we're supposed to be leaving in in like two to four days is when we were trying to leave. Um, yeah, so now... Our plans are completely changing and it's 1 a.m. and we're trying to figure out what we want to do because we leave Kator tomorrow and we go to Podgorica and we had expected to go to Istanbul after Podgorica, but obviously that's not happening. As stressful as it was to have our flight canceled the night before leaving to go to Podgorica, we were really excited to stay in Kator for a little bit longer. We celebrated by going to dinner at Delicious Burger Bar with Ilya and Nicole, which was one of our favorite restaurants, especially Tilo's. Tilo loved Delicious Burger Bar. And then Ilya and Nicole let us sleep on their couch for the night and even made us breakfast the next morning. Somehow everything worked perfectly and we were able to rebook the first Airbnb that we stayed at, which meant we were now neighbors with Ilya and Nicole for our last week in Couture. After moving into our Airbnb, we went on a walk and found the cutest kittens. On a chain going south ten minutes ago. I'm so bad at making conversation. I couldn't ask her for her number or her name, and I don't know if she just wants me to leave her alone. We then jumped into the freezing cold bay. We actually did it twice, but we only got one on video and the boys also jumped in, but we didn't get that on video. We had another taco night and then we went and saw the kittens again the next morning. To look sophisticated, maybe she might come to me one day. I'll probably say something. We ended up stumbling upon so many cats when we stopped at this pharmacy, it was crazy. And enjoyed one of the most beautiful sunsets we had seen in Couture. The next day, we decided to hike up to a mountain. This ended up taking nine hours, but it was so worth it. And this is one of my favorite days of the entire trip. We are going on a hike today. We're going all the way up there.
made some progress the next morning and unfortunately I didn't get it on video but he did let me pet his head. Somehow it was our actual last day in Couture, so we did all of our favorite things. It is our last full day in Couture, and I figured that I would do like a little mini vlog and include it in whatever Couture documentary, whatever type video that I decide to do. But we are currently going to Pronto Pizza to get some lunch, and then we're going to feed Gremlin, which is like a little dumpster kitten that I have adopted the past three weeks and have been feeding him. And then I think we're going to go to the cat square, love on all my favorite cats. And yeah, we'll see what other things that we do. Uh, just going to do a day of all of our favorite things in Couture. The pizza was absolutely amazing. We are now on our way to go feed Gremlin. It is raining today, kind of a crappy weather day, but uh, Gremlin usually doesn't come out when the weather is bad, but I'm really hoping that I can see him. Uh, if not, then I will be coming back in the morning to feed him one less time, so hopefully we can see him then. No sign of Gremlin. Hopefully we can see him tomorrow morning though, but for now we are going back to the cat square to cuddle my favorite cats. We are back from the kitty square so we're having a little salad and some lemonade on our wonderful balcony because it actually looks really beautiful out right now. It wouldn't be a last day in Couture without the random stray dog. The day went by so quickly and before we knew it we were packing up and saying goodbye to Couture. Last walk down the hill. <laughs> 